Hello, Mr. Angus Wing is back for a quick vid, uh, show input and output, <laughs> excuse me, just very quickly, <laughs> just came in the house and had supper, sorry, excuse me, <laughs> um, I think I belch in every video, so usually I woof down my supper or meal and then straight to the wheel and if I get a video to make. Anywho, um, want to show some input and output. Uh, some good news and bad news kind of thing. <laughs> well, not bad news, but the output looks horrible. Uh, basically, well, right now I have the wheel running, driven by this little DC motor, as I have. Um, I have these two meters on the little motor. Uh, this is the volts across the motor, DC volts. And this is the amps going into the motor, straight into the motor. Before I had it between the battery and the motor controller. Um, for this vid and the input, I think it should be going straight into the motor. This number is going to be the same either way, uh, the current. Um, but the voltage is different. So across the motor, it's this is the voltage, this is the current. And I have them hooked up in that way. Uh, where am I? Where am I? <laughs> Anywho, that's how it's hooked up. So, uh, I have the output from the coils wired through a bridge rectifier and there's uh, shucky diodes in there, I checked. Um, there's a little cap there from because of things that I've been doing. <laughs> And then I have it running through uh, an ammeter and into a 12 volt uh, 9 amp hour battery, I believe. And a switch and back to the source. So, uh, basically, want to show the well, there's the input to the motor, the little motor. And here's the output. And I'm going to flick the switch. And we'll see that I'm only getting 0 0.01 amps or 10 milliamps at 10 volts. And it is charging. Like that little current does throw a charge into that battery. Oh, I forgot to show the RPM. They're unchanged with this. It was four, just below 450, something like that. And when I engage the, um, the load, uh, it doesn't speed up and it doesn't slow down. It's like Cromery said. But one thing, and I've sort of got on the wrong track with the um, laminated cores and then got onto the Cromery patent. He talked about laminated cores, but I'm back to this rebar solid core. And the reaction with the wheel, like we saw, it didn't slow down there or speed up. But this is a horrible, horrible load as composed to sh as opposed to shorting them out. So <laughs> this is really good, actually that the wheel doesn't slow down at all. It's basically exactly, it didn't slow down, it didn't speed up. Anyways, that's the video I wanted to show, the input and the output. That seems to be about two and a half watts, somewhere in there, I'd have to punch it in the calculator. This is bing, bing, like a tenth of a watt, it looks like. Bing, bing. Yeah. But it is charging this little battery. But um, I've been monkeying around with other things, and um, I had been onto those laminated cores and decided to pull this out because I was getting such a poor reaction with these awful loads. This is a terrible load. These little lights are a horrible load. You don't get, you know, it actually slows the wheel with the laminated U-core, right? When you short it, that's fine.
but you know you got to have a load on that. So I I decided to slap this on from previous tests. You know I remembered its reaction and the reaction of the solid individual cores isn't bad. And so I slapped this back on. Sure enough, very very good reaction with the wheel um, for such a t horrible load. Um, and using the output. So, tomorrow I'm done for the day. I was outside all day and then came in, wolfed down supper, and <laughs> right into this. But I can't stand up anymore. So, tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I have some, I want way more iron in there. Thicker, solid iron. Um, I have some bigger pieces I'll have to shape and bend into shape. Bigger surface area in front of that magnet too for a better current, and uh, that's what I'm going to be working at. But horrible looking output. Now I've had these this output running this little wheel 400 RPM, so it's the setup. This solid core gives me far less energy to work with than that laminated core. Well, you know less. And um, but I'm able to use it in these in these loads that aren't even close to being shorted. Anyways, there you go. Wanted to make a video, and I'll upload this. And tomorrow I'm going to be working on that core. So next vid you'll see uh, a big solid, a bigger solid iron core. I got to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Find some iron and whatnot. But there you go. Oh, and finally, I had a request um, for me to show myself on camera, and you know, I'm not, I don't really do that. So I drew a picture of myself. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you even know who that is. All right, peace out. Talk to you later. Oh, back. Sorry, <clears throat> I kind of messed up with the RP showing the RPMs at the beginning there. So I flipped the switch off. There's no current going into the battery anymore. It's off, right? Now we saw what it was with it engaged. Now here we go. This is with it disengaged. Basically right where we were. It didn't go up, didn't go down. If anything, it went up one RPM. There you go. And I'll be making that core uh, tomorrow and looking forward to it actually because that's gonna it's gonna bump up the uh, volts and amps and I should get a better reaction there you go talk to everyone you later dude